Hey. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up? Time for another movie. Yep, finally. It's uh, time for a movie. And what movie were we going to go see today, baby? Venom. 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 Oh, Venom. yes. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I support. Well, you, you're only excited because it's Tom Hardy. Oh, Tom. <laughs> Obviously. I'm excited because here we have another Marvel comic. Uh, granted, it's through Sony, so let's see what Sony does to see if this is a good standalone movie and see if it's going to be good enough to be part of the uh, the Marvel Extended Universe. Of course it's going to be. Okay, well, we'll see you when we come out. Peace. Bye, Felicia. He's the man in the bandana, the man with the charm. He's a dude with the glasses and the lady on his arm. <laughs> Guess what we saw? Venom! <laughs> What's up, guys? You have no idea how excited he was to get this free Venom poster. No, when I when I went into the theater, man, I saw somebody else get a, a Venom poster. I said, hey, hey, what's up with the posters? What's up? The guy would ignore me. The guy ignored me. Got a free Venom poster. Though. Not gonna ignore me for long, goddamn it. Right, anyway, so we just finished watching Venom, and uh, this is. Our non-spoiler review. We don't. We, you know, we never spoil the videos, Katie. Never, ever. Never, no, ever. Never, ever. So we're, of course, we're gonna do it like I usually do, Katie. What did you think of the movie? Well, Tom Hardy <laughs> was in it, so I really didn't have to Did you like the word? Did you like the movie, or did you just swoon? Oh, I, I, no, I really, really liked the movie. It was, uh, it was, it was pretty, it was pretty good. Action packed. All right. All right. Well, with me, second one, excuse me, I have to. I mean, you know, I'm going to critique um, yeah. down to the uh, to the. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm going I'm to the smallest minutia of, the, of, of it. But I'm going to say, as far as a standalone film, this thing kicks ass. You got to You have a whole, um, you know, introductory uh, story into where Benham started from as far as on on earth and stuff like that him being you know where he comes from but uh it i think as a pg-13 movie it did really really good really good uh -huh. i do think personally they should have went with the hard r because venom is one of those type of characters but i understand them going pg-13 because they want to be part of the, um, uh, the Marvel Extended Universe. In which with this movie... What do you think, babe? Is it good enough to be a part of the Marvel Extended Universe? I'm, not even, I'm offended it was PG-13 to begin with. It should have been at least a G. Did <laughs> yes, I agree. It should have been rated R. Yeah, I, if they would have went R, I mean... I mean, look at... Look at how Logan came out. Logan came out good. I mean, Deadpool is, you know, I, I, I think they should have went with the hard R, but you know what? What they did was good. What they did was good. I got to admit, I liked Riot a lot. What did you think of Riot? Uh-huh. What did you think of Riot? What did you think of Riot? The, the bad guy. Come on, the bad symbiote. Like bad guy. You know, like bad guys. Anyway, I thought Riot was was kick ass. <laughs> I thought um, I was uh, I was highly impressed with the dynamic between Venom and Eddie Brock. I thought that was uh, I thought that um, I thought Tom Hardy did a really good job of, uh, of of portraying Eddie Brock, and then of course doing the voiceover for uh, for Venom. Would you stop photobombing? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see, what else, babe? I got a lot of eyes in there, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> what else you got to add, babe? The, um, the, uh, Annie and Eddie and Doctor, what's his book? Doctor Dan? Um, yes, Doctor Dan. They, um, felt like, you know, that was kind of awkward having to... Just, it was definitely an awkward romance. Awkward. I mean, yeah, it was a, the, the, I, I felt that way with... Before, so yeah, so yeah, Katie did not feel <laughs> too good not. with the Dr. Dan, so Annie, yeah. and and uh, Eddie Brock situation. Weird. She felt uncomfortable. It's awkward. I've felt awkward before in a 
real life situation like that. So yes, okay. I don't like it. All right, I'm sorry. Damn. She's feeling some sort of way right now. <laughs> I could feel her looks. <laughs> anyway, um, as far as as far as the movie goes, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's worth it to go see. What do you think, babe? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. You gotta go from me. You gotta go from Katie. Definitely worth worth your while to go see. Worth the money to go see as a matinee because we. Go, go. Or go see as a feature. It is going to kick ass. You're going to enjoy yourself. You're going to have a good time. You can take your kids. It's not going to be that bad. The kids will have fun with it too. Um, anyway, that's it for our parking lot review. Uh, this is Electro Jed and Katie. And we'll see you next time. Peace. Make sure to like and subscribe. Or else.